Before we go into the Fuentes segment, we're going to look at Nick Fuentes' preferred choice for presidential candidate. There's a story that's come out about him that's absolutely fucking insane. And it's a few days old now. It might be a week old. And I don't know how I missed this. But let's have a look at this story about Kanye West and his Donda Academy school. Okay. So the headline reads, Kanye West wanted to cage Donda students and threaten to punch a okay. staffer. What so the fuck? They're saying that Kanye wanted to install a jail at his school to cage students. Now, the school was meant for black students. Oh. You know, it was meant for kids from the hood. Shoo. But Kanye wanted to just speed up, you know, <laughs> the school to prison pipeline and just straight up put them in prison at the school. Wow. So... Maybe he really was our guy. I don't know. <laughs> he says... Um, Sorry, one side. Let's go here to slide two. So it's Trevor Phillips who's suing him. Trevor he Phillips says, from GTA 5? He says, yeah. That's he his says, name. <laughs> from the start of his employment, Phillips, who is black, that it was immediately apparent that Ye treated the black staff considerably worse than white employees and that he would scream and berate black employees while never oh. even as much raising his tone at the white staff. By the way, that was a ne negative clap, so that was not racist. So it turned, maybe Nick was right all along, bros. Maybe he was right all along. Sheesh. Kanye knew his place beneath the white man. He called white man Massa. Massa white man, you tell me how to run this facility. I'm going to keep the others in line. Okay, so coming on board weeks after Ye's fallout with Adidas and Gap, Ye continued to double down and make similar statements. He threatened to go after the LGBTQ plus community next because gay people are controlled by Bill Gates, so they don't have children for population control. <laughs> Forgive us, Yado! Forgive me! What we could have had! The genius visionary! Black people, let rise up! The gays are controlled by Bill Gates! Because they can't be having the children! That, that that's why he fired Nick. <laughs> Forgive us, yay. Well, this is this is the thing is he came to these conclusions <laughs> after firing Nick. You know, <laughs> this is this wasn't Nick's doing. We could deny him this W. You know, no, but no. I he said he goes, fired Nick because of this. Yes, that's exactly. why he fired he Nick. Yay. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> uh okay. Hold on. Go back. Let me oh, see. Oh, Did sorry, we get all sorry. that. Okay. So, Ye allegedly once told two children he wanted them to shave their heads, and he intended to put a jail at the school and that they would be locked in cages. Um, Kanye had, like, a vulgar lashing out in front of school children and parents with incessant harassment and humiliation. Let's go to the next slide. This is the black guy from uh, uh, Samuel L. Jackson's character from Django Unchained. He really turned out to be the black skinhead. Yeah, he you know? really like, but is. For, <laughs> you know? So, okay. Phillips' role on what Ye dubbed the vertically integrated crew was to now oversee projects related to growing cotton and other plants to use as material. So he hired a black guy to be in charge of his cotton plantation. Oh, you can't make this shit up! You can't, you can't make this shit up! This is like a real story that was published. So, but because of the continued fallout, he was then blended into work for Donda Academy. So he went from overseeing the, the cotton plantation Fields, yeah. to working at the school. Um... <laughs> So, go to the next slide. My God. Phillips claimed Ye began spreading anti-Semitism in school meetings. Ye, Ye said he only likes to date white women. 
And he said that employee he said that he would fire any employee that was fat. Jesus. He said if you were fat, you'd be fired. <laughs> he ate and boasted. <laughs> he used two million dollars of the school's budget to ball out on a trip to Paris. Is Gabe so okay? He, Gabe's like struggling. Gabe's <laughs> laughing his ass off at this shit. So then at one point. Gay went on a rant about Hitler's greatness. He claimed the Holocaust was fake, and he said gay people are not true Christians. Then Ye had the hotel staff come into his room and put on 2022's The Batman and forced the hotel staffers and him to watch the movie on mute in silence. <laughs> then, while watching the movie, <laughs> Ye began, not even kidding, to make slow up and down motions with his hand just above his penis as though he was masturbating and talking about his sex life. A rapper then FaceTimed a woman and instructed her to wear lingerie and shoes he bought for her. Kanye flaunted nude pictures of her to many of the Yeezy staff members. Uh, Phillips claimed his relationship with Ye soured culminating in Ye throwing a temper tantrum, threatening to punch him. Ye started screaming in front of a crowd for Phillips to get the f*** out of here. Ye then raised his hand and pointed at Phillips' neck condition and screamed, f*** your neck! His buddy was coping that his neck hurt. Then Kanye pointed at the school, <laughs> belched, so he just burped in his face and then said, and f*** your daughter! I don't give a f*** about none of that. Do we Kanye, like Kanye now? Scroll down. <laughs> we, it gets better. Kanye then ran to the gardens and attempted to pick up and toss the garden. But too weak and out of shape, he failed to pick up the garden. Instead, he started pulling out the plants and individual pieces inside the boxes, ripping them apart and throwing them on the floor. In a worse and more immature temper tantrum, than any of even the youngest Donda school children had ever thrown. This man was going to be president of the United States. <laughs> I just want people like, seriously, this guy was apparently going to be president. Everybody who's ever met this guy has said he's absolutely Looney Tunes, complete nut bar. Ash, if you we... listen to that story, you go, what the no, f beyond that, it was such a grift. Didn't every time we've ever seen any clip on this show of him, even you and I are like, this is mental illness. Remember when he's in that house, in the living room, doing that speech and everyone's like clapping? And we're like, are they all Like power, like money and power really blinds these people. Like, oh, I got to fucking nod and be a yes, a yes man to the most man in history. And that's Ski saying that.